Hi, my name's Diane. You're just watching the Just Kidding Around show. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to make a raw fruit pie today with Brittany Speary. And before we do that, we want to say hi to some of our regular viewers. I want to say hi to the faculty and students at South Bay Elementary and hi to old friends at Pleasant Glade. Would you like to say hello to anybody? Um, just continue to say hello to my family and okay. their support. Mm -hmm. And also, we're being seen now in Bremerton, so I'll say hi to some of our new friends in Bremerton. So, hi. Uh, with that, let's get started. Okay, well today we're gonna make a basic raw fruit pie. Fruit pie, um, Very simple and not very many ingredients. Um, very easily done at home. Okay. Something I kind of created in the past couple of weeks that was inspired by all the new um, fruit that was coming out. Oh really? So season. this is your own, this isn't from a book, this is your own no. uh, recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's very similar. Um, you can use it to elaborate in any other like recipe that you'd like to do. Very okay. simple raw pie crust. So. And for people that have never seen, we've done several shows before. This is your mm -hmm. fourth show in fact. Mm -hmm. But for people who haven't seen those shows, can you briefly tell us by raw, does that really mean that you're not going to cook it? I'm not going to cook it. It's all prepared. Um, raw Living Foods is under the, um, guide, not guidelines, but just the choice of having keeping them processed at a low temperature to preserve the life enzymes and the nutrients that are already present in the foods. Um, so that's what my goal is inside. But of we're not processing any of this, are we? No. Um, well, it's going to be food process in the food process. Right. In the food process. <laughs> right. 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 Mm -hmm. So we're going to be working with raw foods. And what's the advantage of not cooking the pie? It it preserves the enzymes, um, the dig it, which promotes digestion and okay. um, better energy and um, nutrient um, absorption and mm. all of that. That's and it seems finally the government even is agreeing that we should have more raw fruits mm -hmm. and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And isn't this a good way to get more mm -hmm. raw foods, fruits and vegetables? So way. even if you don't go on an all raw diet. Mm -hmm. Just including a few things mm -hmm. here and there really promotes your health. Yeah, promotes health. Okay. So um, the first part we're going to do is a crust, and it's very simple ingredients for the crust. I use um, dry almonds, and make sure they're raw, um, not roasted, dry roasted, or they're okay. just um, raw almonds, which you can get in most um, stores. And we're going to use about two, one and three-fourths cup almonds to two cups. Um, and we're just going to... And, and wait, 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 two cups almonds and how much coconut? Um, I'll tell you. Um, okay. We're gonna. I'm gonna put the rest of the almonds in there. Okay. It's about two cups almonds. And you didn't soak those. Um, in the pie crust, you want them to be dry, okay. so you can soak and dehydrate them, or you can just use them dry from the store. Okay. So about two cups dry almonds, and then about three quarters cup coconut, dried coconut. Okay. And you can use the just the flake. I use the big flake coconut but you can use just a small shredded coconut. And that's organic and um, unsweetened? Mm -hmm. Just unsweetened mm -hmm. and raw. dry coconut. So, what would happen if they didn't, if one of these ingredients um, was not raw? It's perfectly fine. You don't have to like be fanatic about okay. it, you know. Um, so they could, if they couldn't find, for instance, this raw coconut, they could use the standard, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. um, it's better to, you know, shoot as high as you can instead of getting as many raw ingredients just because of the health promotion, but it's more of like just working your way into it and finding okay. what works best for you. And doesn't yeah. raw coconut taste a lot better too? It does, it yeah. does. I, eat, I like to eat it plain or the fresher just put it and more in trail raw. Mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to grind this. It's going to be kind of loud. Um, Is that okay. S-blade in there? It is the S-blade okay. that we're using in the food processor, which is the, very, the standard blade that you'll use. Um, you can, there is like the shredder attachment right. and that type of stuff, but inside of making most of the things, you use the S-blade. Blade. Mm -hmm. And what if they don't have a food processor? Could they make the crust with any it other It would be kind of difficult. Okay. The food processor is, um, but you can, you don't have to get an expensive food processor. I 
used my $30 food processor for about five years. Okay. <laughs> so you can, um, you know, do whatever works for your budget. So I'm going to go again. So you want it to be like a fine powder, almost like a flour. All right. And Okay, one more time. Okay, so that should be good. And once again, that was two cups raw almonds, three quarter cups. Coconut? Dried Rocco. coconut. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if you're going to need this next. Um, not yet. No? Okay. Um, I was ready to grab it. I'll... What I'm going to put in there, I'm going to... Use some agave syrup, which is just, oh. um, it's nectar from a cactus. It's very low glycemic, it's processed. You can get it raw, processed at a low temperature. It's a right. very versatile um, and doesn't have too much of a strong flavor for sweetener inside of it. Okay, I'm questioning that container it's in. Um, well, I I reuse my containers, so okay. it's not. It's, so you can buy in bulk original. somewhere? You can buy in bulk. Oh, um, mm -hmm. I gotta start doing that. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna do about half of a cup of agave in this is a different crust before we did a show you and you did of, walnut mm -hmm. and okay and about a fourth of a cup of olive oil hmm. do you recommend extra virgin or does it matter I use um, extra extra virgin cold okay. pressed at a low temperature okay. for um, getting preserving those life enzymes. So I'm going to run this. Is for it a considered minute. raw then? If it's mm -hmm. cold pressed, mm -hmm. oh, and check cold the temperature because sometimes cold pressed could be above, you know, a temperature that the it says around 105. The okay. life enzymes 105 and that will to say 115. That on the bottle, huh? um, it does on some of them, not oh, all of them. I didn't realize that. So I'm going to go again. I'm going to add some lemon juice and lemon zest, hmm. which really adds an amazing flair to your fruit pies. Okay. So now we're up to about five ingredients. Mm -hmm. If you really can't keep track of the ingredients, you could, um, there's an address at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. You could write us and we'll make sure you get it. So I'm going to just put juice about half of a lemon in there, and I'm going to zest some of the lemon rind. Oh, this is going to be a good crust. About half of the lemon zested. You want to preserve some of your lemon zest for decorations on top, if you wish. So do that and let it go for a little bit longer. So what you want to happen is you want it to kind of start to stick together. So this still is kind of not exactly stuck so you want to let it go a little bit longer because you're going to press it into the pie pan and it's going to, you can refrigerate it for a little bit longer which will help it's sticking together, but let it go a little bit. Longer. So instead of rolling it out, we're going to press it into mm -hmm. the pan. Give it a quick stir. And because it's raw, we're going to eliminate all the time that somebody would normally spend cooking mm -hmm. the pie. So that mm -hmm. saves a lot of time. It's very quick. I had to come up with something for one of the potlucks that I host in town. And so I just had about like 20 minutes to make something. Wow. <laughs> and so I made and this. this is it? Mm -hmm. So usually when it starts forming in a ball like that, it's... There. Oh, so, so it'll how automatically it's... start forming in mm -hmm. a ball? So you see how it kind of sticks together? Yeah. So but you're doing that, but it will automatically, in, in the mm -hmm. food it'll processor? Start, you'll see oh, it kind okay. of clump together a little bit okay. more. Okay, and then you know it's, it's Kind of an ready. indicator. Okay. So if you want to 
Hand me the pie pan. I love this pan. I had to go out and buy one for myself. <laughs> They're so wonderful. I they use that are. And can kind of reuse some of your old stuff inside of the raw unbaking. <laughs> so you just want to get all of that out. And it's all health. It's not like a bunch of white flour and mm -mm. So you just kind it's all of good for you. Spread it around. Yeah, I can hold that if you want. And if you don't have a, like this is a spring form pan that will pop up and make it kind of easier for, set it down for me to kind of get it pressed a little bit. Okay. And it's a non-stick pan so it helps the pie pan not to stick but if you want to if you have trouble if you don't have a pan that's going to pop out you can sprinkle some of the dried coconut on the bottom and mm. it'll help the pie crust to not stick mm. so you just kind of want to press it up to the and side and you can buy these spring spring form pans right mm -hmm. you can buy them all different price ranges mm -hmm. i saw one that had a glass bottom this is a high quality one but Come in aluminum, all different types. Mm -hmm. So you're just kind of pressing it out and forming like a pie crust. And then, d does it have to be uniform the other s the sides as they come up or not? No, you can kind of form them after you get the bottom formed. Okay. So it's kind of a process. I wonder if they can look in. The, can I hold it up a See? little? So you just kind of there. There we go. Forming there, the pie that's crust. Good shot. And if you wanted to, you want to try this? Okay. So I'm just kind yeah. of, you see, I'm just kind of pressing it up, making yeah. the edge right there. Okay, I'm going to let. <laughs> That's what it looks like so far. The bottom's pressed in, and then the edges come up, and now I'm going to press the edges up. So instead of rolling the, oh, yeah, this has a different consistency than, than that other one we did. So do you want it even like that? You or do you want a rough you, kind of edge? I usually do it even, but it's your preference. You can have a, a rough kind of edge if you... I kind of like the rough edge, yeah, but you, you are a chef. I don't know if I mentioned that on this show, but Brittany is a qualified chef. <laughs> yeah, we might, maybe we should start working on the center. Okay. So the filling is really, really simple. I'm going to use the food processor again, and there's really no need to um, clean it out because all the ingredients <laughs> kind of... It's all raw food. It's all mm -hmm. healthy, right? It's not like <laughs> the flavors will go together well. So... So there it is. I'm just going to peel four medium-sized to large-sized bananas. And again, you made this up yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you said you had 20 minutes? Had about 20 Bef minutes. <laughs> How did you know this was going to taste all right? Well, I didn't know exactly, but I had an idea. I mean, I've made many different kinds of pies. Uh -huh. and so I kind of had an idea that... Well, you were on once before, and you made this incredible chocolate pie out of avocados. Mm -hmm. Man, that was the best chocolate pie I've ever had. So, mm -hmm. just kind of get these out of the way. So just put your four bananas, like medium to large. You can, and the recipe is very flexible. If you want to add an extra banana, you can do that. Okay. It's very, I'm gonna grind, kind of puree these up. Again with the Escalade. Mm -hmm. And while I'm doing that, um, I'm gonna chop up, uh, maybe have you chop up, start chopping up some of this fruit. Okay. For the inside, just, you can just do it into a dice. Do you want me to peel it first? The peaches? Yeah. Oh, no, you don't have to peel them. Oh, the this skin goes in? Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Well, we're going to leave them whole. You're just going to dice them up. Okay. Into little dices. And um, also the strawberries, I'm going to leave the raspberries mm -hmm. whole, but if you just want to take the strawberry. And they're all and, washed and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just take the strawberry and kind of cut it like that and just got it to little pieces okay so 
So I'm going to keep on going with this. Kind of move it around a little bit in there, chop up any big pieces of bananas that are left. It's just four bananas pureeing. And then I'm going to use agave again. And I'm just going to put probably about an eighth, like one eighth of a cup. So use the agave instead of white sugar. Mm -hmm. Instead no, of any sweetener. That is usually what I use. Don't you agave. live um, with your sister who has three young boys? I do. And <laughs> if they eat white sugar, what happens? Oh, I don't know if they've ever had white sugar. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I'm going to put about a teaspoon. So they use just natural. Oh, yeah. We've always used natural. Um, before we started doing raw, we just used the organic cane, cane sugar, dry, dehydrated cane juice. Um, I put about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which is, which is not a raw ingredient, okay. but I still use it because we use it a minute amount. And you, if you want to use um, vanilla extract in raw recipes, making sure you use alcohol-free because right. it doesn't bake off. Usually oh. it doesn't cook off, so you get like an alcohol flavor. Oh. Yeah, so it's, it's good to use alcohol-free. I'm just going to put like a pinch of salt. But aren't there... Um Vanilla beans, raw vanilla beans. You can use raw vanilla beans. I do use those most sometimes, depending on my budget, because <laughs> okay. they're kind of more expensive and they don't have as much flavor oh, as the really? vanilla extract. Oh, really? So you'd have to add mm -hmm. more, huh? So that's about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I can smell that over here. I'm going to just grind these up again. Is that enough? Because I hate yeah. to use up all your strawberries. Um, you want yeah, that will be dice enough. more? And maybe... Cut these ones in half, just the bigger okay. ones. Then let's go again. So you just kind of want it to be cinnamon poof, just like a like a creamy tape. But these are going in the processor, right? Nope, those are going to stay whole. Oh. The only thing we're going to process for the innard is the creamy banana Oh, filling. I will get it smaller then. I understand. I thought that wondered why I was dicing them if they were going into the... <laughs> okay. Ooh. I'm going to have done here. a little better job. <laughs> so... Okay. We've got to finish this in five minutes. Do you think we can do your 20-minute pie in five mm -hmm. minutes? Okay. So... That's good on the strawberries if you want to maybe cut up one of the peaches. Okay. Or it could be just a strawberry pie. <laughs> the peach is a big part of it, huh? Peaches, I mean, you can put whatever fruit you want. I personally really like the peaches and raspberry and strawberries. And so whatever's in season. Mm hmm So if you want to... Dice the stuff up. And it doesn't have to be precise. It's going to be kind of a chunky fruit filling pie. When you're finishing up that, if you want to hand me one of the bowls, you can hand me the inner bowl. Got it. Okay. And I'm just going to. Now, if a person wants to know more about eating raw, we, there are lots of books out there. The, li the, the local the libraries library. have a lot of mm -hmm. books. The internet is a great resource. Well, and hopefully school libraries have a lot of um, good information on eating healthy. But mm -hmm. you brought with you, for the home chef that wants to know more, here's one called Naked Chocolate, which is real interesting. That um, Does that have just desserts in it? It's not just desserts. <laughs> oh, really? But all of it has chocolate in it. Oh, I mm -hmm. thought Oh, I thought chocolate was a dessert. And that's good on the peaches, if you Is that good on the mm -hmm. peaches? Okay. And we'll add these whole raspberries. The raspberries are wonderful with lemon. Really? Mm -hmm. I never knew that. Last raspberry. Boy, that looks healthy. So we're just going to kind of... Are there any other books that you'd like to especially recommend for somebody um, that is interested in eating more raw? There's um, the Butenkos as a family, the raw family. They have a lot of good books out. Um, simple, starting raw. 
kind of books, mm -hmm. but any book, the internet is a great resource for original. And this is one of the. This is one of the newer books here, 2006, I think, and mm -hmm. that's a good one for getting started. That's the one that talks about the green smoothies, isn't it? So I'm mm. adding about a quarter of a cup of ground golden flaxseed, mm. which kind of helps bind everything. It soaks up kind of the, some of the moisture. Okay. Yeah, and of, of course, flax is very good for you. Mm-hmm. It's a very healthy. So if you want to hand me the pie crust. We're ready? Mm-hmm. So you, kinda, you got your pie crust ready, and you just kind of... Now, is that going to be firm enough to cut into slices? Well, the flax takes a little bit, but it does firm up, and I definitely recommend refrigerating it. Before. For how long? Um, a couple hours. You could even stick it in the freezer if you wanted to speed up that process. Are we going to be able to eat it tonight then? Oh, yeah. You can, I mean, you don't have to refrigerate it. Oh, good. It's just going to be kind of like Because I want the crew to be able to eat that. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. You can eat this right now. It's going to be creamy. So you kind of just push it up to the sides. And you can add some coconut mm. around the sides. Now, I don't think we mentioned that you eat 100% raw for Pretty yeah. much 100% raw. So and everything daily, you eat is raw. Daily goal. And that doesn't mean raw meat. It means raw No, I'm raw vegan. Special. Yeah, raw vegan. So I just kind of put some coconut on there. A little bit more of your zem lemon zest. Now, you zest. haven't tasted any of this. You don't sample when you cook? I, I mean, I do sometimes, but it's, it's, it's very interesting, raw foods. It turns out different every time, and I kind okay. of trust the process. Trust the process. But you, if it's your first time, I, recommend, I definitely recommend tasting it. Okay. I made so a chocolate your... pie and I used raw cocoa and I learned that recipe from you and boy I sure got energized from that raw cocoa. It must have had a lot of caffeine oh, in yeah. it. Yeah. It's one oh, of my favorites. Look just kinda, at you that. can just kinda just decorate like a it. Chef. <laughs> look at you. Can I put a big one in there on there? Because mm -hmm. we're getting ready to wrap up. So that was a 20 minute raw pie, which is a heck of a lot faster than a cook pie. And much more, much healthier than a white flour, white sugar pie. Beautiful. Can we show them how to take the? Can we take the? Oh, mm -hmm. um, gotta usually you want to run a knife around the uh, edge really quick. Okay. So it doesn't stick. I've done this a lot. So take your time if you need to, but. Okay. And it just kind of. Ta-da! Right There's off. our pie. That's how we get it out of the pan. May I hold it up now? Mm -hmm. I don't. Or, yeah, your, your hands are more experienced at that. There is our delicious pie, all raw, not baked. And boy, that's a good way to get your fruits and vegetables. Well, mm -hmm. not vegetables, but fruits. <laughs> you could throw an avocado could in you? there, which throw is a avocado? fruit, but it, it has okay. balancing yeah. qualities. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Please tune in again to the Just Kidding Around show a show where we teach our home viewers to do many different activities. I want to thank our wonderful crew, the best crew at TCTV, and that would be Jerry Julian, Bruce Tanney, Bob Giles, um, Jim Elder, and directing is Tom Dubuque. And thank you again thank for joining you. us. You're wonderful. Bye. Bye. And bye, Mr. Feeney.